Welcome to This Week in Salina, your look at what's happening in the City of Salina government. The City Commission meets on Monday, September 26th. At their regular 4 p.m. meeting, commissioners will hold a public hearing on issuing industrial revenue bonds to finance the expansion of geoprobe systems. Also on the agenda, second reading of an ordinance levying service fees in the Downtown Business Improvement District, an ordinance authorizing issuance of industrial revenue bonds for the SFC Global Supply Chain Project, and changing the zoning on attractive land in the River Run Addition to allow development of housing. Finally, the City Commission will consider two actions for the Aeroplanes Edition, authorizing the submittal of a moderate income housing grant application and waiving residential building fees associated with the Rural Housing Incentive District for the development. Other scheduled meetings this week include the Heritage Commission, Wednesday, September 28th at 4 p.m. The meeting will be held in Room 107 of the City County Building, and the meeting agenda will be available on the City's website, salina-ks.gov. You can watch all City of Salina meetings on Salina TV, Cox Cable Channel 20, online at salina-tv.com, on Facebook on the City of Salina page, and on YouTube on the City of Salina channel. Due to tree damage caused by the storm on Saturday, September 17th, City of Salina staff will perform a sweep of the entire city to pick up tree limbs beginning Monday, September 26th. Please stack tree limbs near the curb by 7 a.m. on September 26th. City crews will work their way throughout the city over the next one to two weeks. You can also take your tree debris to the Salina Municipal Solid Waste Landfill for free. The landfill is located at 4292 South Burma Road and is open 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. weekdays and 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturdays. If you have any questions, please call General Services at 785-309-5750. The Salina Fire Department is constantly training to maintain skills and learn the latest techniques and technologies to fight fires. Last week's training was on firefighter survival. Firefighters had to follow a hose line out, encountering multiple obstacles. Crews also worked on an entanglement drill and practiced bailouts. For more information on the Salina Fire Department, please visit salina-ks.gov slash fire-department or check out their Facebook page at facebook.com slash salinafire. The Salina Fieldhouse is offering drop-in events this fall for both youth and adults. The youth drop-in events will be held from 10 a.m. to noon on days when school is not in session this fall and is a supervised program for ages 12 through 17. Space is available for basketball, volleyball, and soccer. The adult drop-in program is held from 12 to 2 p.m. Monday through Friday through November 23rd. Space is available for basketball, volleyball, pickleball, and walking. Cost for the drop-in events is $3 per person per date. For more information, please visit salinafieldhouse.com or call 785-833-2260. Thanks for watching This Week in Salina. Have a great week!